So let's talk about automation in Bitwig Studio 6. And I already told you everything I know in my stream and also in my overview video about automation. So I want to dedicate this video for showing you how I work with uh, automation and some of my problems, okay? Uh, and I want to say just as a disclaimer, most of these problems are not big problems. They are easily fixable if they want to fix it. Uh, maybe also it's just me. So let me know in the comments down below if it's just me or maybe you have also a problem with automation. You can also tell me, Polarity, you are just old. Please adapt. This is how we do things nowadays. Um, move along, old man. Okay, so I show you this here in Bitwig 6. We have a track in the background. Uh, let's give it a small listen. Okay, so some kind of liquid drum bass kind of thing. Um, and I want to modulate here the bass, the cutoff of the filter of the bass synthesizer. And we can do this multiple ways. Now in Bitwig 6, we can first up just enable here the global modulation mode. And you can see the last touch parameter already here selected. It's the cutoff. You can also select something different by just clicking on it. Resonance, cutoff, right? Uh, so the first problem I have here is already that uh, this is enabled for every track because that's not what I want to do. I just want to modulate um, the cutoff on one track on this here, right? So not on the drums, not on the piano. So why just enable this on every track? Um, so here we can just start and draw in an automation for the filter. We can also select the resonance here and also draw this in. No problem. So the second problem I have in this mode is that you can't see the notes. You can't see it in the background, right? If you disable this, you can see the notes clearly. Here, not possible. So sometimes I want, or let's say every time, I want to time my automation to the notes. So there is no sense of what's going on with the notes. You can barely see it in the background. There is a note and there's a note, but it's very, very subtle. So um, I can't see what's going on in the notes. So that's the second problem. The third problem I have with this mode is you can't actually move the clips around in the background. You can only draw in automation, which is okay. It's an automation mode. But now when I want to move these clips around, which is something I do all the time when I'm automating, uh, I have to switch back here to the track mode and then I can start here, select these clips, cut it, um, duplicate it, make some different versions, move them to different places, adjust the automation. So now I have to switch constantly back and forth here with this automation mode. Okay, I can use a keyboard here, I can use A, right? I can move this here, change it, um, paint in a different automation. Um, and then say, okay, and then copy this, go back to automation, but it's very cumbersome, very tedious to every time switch between the modes, right? So this, this is my third problem with this kind of um, mode here. So you can say, okay, polarity, it's maybe not this mode. This, this mode is not made for you, okay? Use something different. We have different options and we do. So let's say here, um, let's restart, delete this go back to the initial setup. So instead of using this global modulation mode, we can just use here the plus button, right? So we can hit this plus button at the new modulation lane and we can see the last touch parameter here also at the top, right? So this is kind of like it was in Bitwig 5. So we can touch here, cut off parameter, we can use plus and then we choose here the first um, option, which is the last touch parameter, cutoff fit, filter frequency. Then we have a new lane and then we can start to draw in automation. So in this mode, we have now the possibility here to use um, the clip modes. We can just duplicate this, which is something I do all the time. I do this every time and then move clips around and also change or adjust automation at the same time. And when we are done, we just close this down, 
done easy. But here they also made some changes. For me, kind of weird changes, um, but for someone else, probably not. So first up, uh, we have, if there is no automation already on the track, we have your plus button. If there's an automation on there, there we have this unfold button here. So I'm not an interface designer. I have no idea about these things, but I would guess this is something you shouldn't do to just change buttons at the same place. So they do something different. Um, so it, there's also no way you can see this beforehand, right? You can see there's no icon at the moment. We have to hover over this track to see, oh, here's probably something in there. Here is no automation lane in there. So we can't see it beforehand. Also this unfold button was before here in Bitwig 5, now it's here in the same place where the group unfold was, this one here. And this group unfold is not, not here anymore, it's now here. So in the top left corner instead of the bottom left corner. Uh, so they moved some icons around, which leads to some frustrations if you move from Bitwig 5 to Bitwig 6 because everything is in a different place. And then also these buttons here change context or what they do. Uh, so it's a bit, you know, annoying for me some, at some point, but it's easily fixable, fix, fixable, right? It's not a big change, if you ask me. Um, also here, now if you want to add something new, this plus button is not working, it's an unfold. Now we have to use this plus button, which is at the bottom, and we can add new lanes. And then we can start automating. But here, um, the new lane is added below the last point, right? So it's extending to the bottom. Uh, so let's add something new. And I have, when I automate bass sounds, I have a lot of these uh, lanes here. I can show you this in a minute. So here we have now multiple lanes already. We probably also draw in here some automation. And you can see now the plus button is out of the screen. We have to start to scroll. We have to scroll down. And then we can use here the plus button to add something new if, if we want to. So this is a bit tedious because, um, you know, you have to probably unfold, then you have to scroll, then you have to click, then you have to click, then you have to automate and so on. So it's a lot of clicking and it was so easy and yeah, perfect, <laughs> almost perfect for me before. And I can show you this here in a minute in Bitwig 5. Also, if you want to delete these lanes, you have to right click now or you have to right click here on the device and say delete automation lane, this is also possible. And in Bitwig 5, we had just some small little icon to delete this, which was, which was uh, pretty handy. So I show you this in Bitwig 5 and then we go back to Bitwig 6. So here I have a drum bass track also and we scroll down to the bass lane or to the bass track. And you can see we have now to unfold the automation lanes here. We have this button at the bottom right. It's not a global button here at the top. It's also not an unfold on the left side, which is sometimes a plus button to add something new. Here it's pretty clear on every track we have this button and you can see the automation lanes, okay? Very straightforward. Um, we have also here a button to add something new or we can see the last touch parameter here at the top. So when we click something here in the synthesizer, let's say this button here, you can see it's automatically here selected and we can start drawing right away. Done. Next, this one. Drawing in, done. All right, this one. Start drawing, done. And it goes down here and you extend to the bottom and the last drawn uh, automation is basically here also in the list, the next one. And then we can still use here um, cutting. We can copy this, uh, clone it, rearrange it while we have this automation open and we can work on this track and leave this open as long as we want until we are happy. And then we can close it down, bounce the track, upload to Bandcamp, get rich. Okay, so very easy, very straightforward. Um, I think there's also here uh, no, that's not. No, that, that, that's something I talk about later. So this works pretty ne neatly, and also we can use here the delete button, right? Just click on it, 
multiple times and you can delete everything or just some parts of it. So if they just bring back in Bitwig 6 here this lane uh, to show you the last touch parameter always at the top and uh, you can unfold this every time even though there's no automation at the moment here at the track, maybe delete this here, right? There's no automation on this track, just leave this unfold in one place and uh, it's so it's perfect almost for me. I'm so used to this workflow. So um, they changed it and I hope they make some adjustments to uh, make it work more like in Bitwig 5. But maybe it's just me. Let me know in the comments down below. Maybe it's just me and I'm just a maniac in using so many automation lanes. So here in Bitwig 6 again, uh, when we have the base, maybe let me unfold here and then show me an last recently touched parameter lane always at the top and I'm happy. I'm super happy. Small fix, you can even leave this plus and unfold thing. I probably adapt to it, but I would say it's it's not a nice design choice, but it is how it is and I can adapt to it. I'm, I'm old, but I can adapt to things, okay? But I would like to have here some, at least the last touch parameter at the bottom so I can unfold every time and just start drawing instead of having this plus button, which then also moves down out of the screen and I have to start to scroll and then I use the plus, plus button there and so on. So it would be nice to have this back and I would be happy and I just leave everything else untouched, okay? So these are just my minor things. I want to have different and I think um, the global modulation mode is maybe is not that bad for some other people uh, but for my uh, workflow how I use uh, automation it's probably not made for that but I would say it's not a bad thing at all right so I also uh, hear that a lot of people like this uh, change okay so instead of just you know talking about these negative points let's see actually uh, what I like. So we have here automation let's bring it back here the cutoff frequency. Um, what I really like is the updated visuals it looks so much cleaner. Um, we can now take here also this node and move it here and it's automatically removing some of the unnecessary node points or value points which is really nice. I also like that you can now uh, just time select here something and hold down alt and move it around something like this. Super dope to have. A lot of people wanted this. Um, we can also now do, do this kind of stuff. You can just click and drag above here and then move it around. Very nice to have. Also here, alt drag to make curvatures. And also something I have never seen anywhere else is here the spread, this one, randomization. So you have static automation points, but you can bring in randomization. So on every iteration, it's slightly in a different place or it's slightly randomized. It's a, yeah, it's something I really, really like. Also, we have now here these different modes for the nodes, this hold thing, right? So we have just one value change and then it holds this value until we have a new uh, value change. Um, so for stepped uh, modulation, it's very nice. Uh, we can use the spray can tool for that here also. So a lot of great changes. We can also just select everything and then use here, uh, oh no, we need, to, we need to make a time selection here. We can use this, hold down the Alt key and then we can do something like this. Mm. Stretch it. Um, I think you can also do something like this where you have here on the, on the right side and on the left side. So you can uh, tilt it in a certain way. Uh, change the whole thing, something at the bottom here, yeah. So the minimum and maximum values. It's so straightforward, so easy to use. And um, they made some great changes there. Um, also, when you have here the pointer tool, uh, you can use the Alt key and then it looks like this. And it makes basically a clip out of this automation as long as the parent node clip is. So when we cut this here at this point, right, 
and we go back to the pointer tool, we can make a new automation clip just for this parent node clip. Also, the automation clip is now um, linked to the node clip here, and we can change this behavior by using here the automation lock mode. So we click this, this is enabled, and now here the um, node clip is separate from the automation clip. So we can just, you know, make different automations for different clips or just move it around or loop it in different, uh, different ways. Let's say make this here something like this and then you loop it, you know. So it's so fun to work with automations now and I think they make some, some really great changes there. Also something I just um, experienced today is when you have here, let's say the pointer tool and you are hovering over this node clip, you can see it's still a pointer tool, even though you go to the lower region of the node clip. And in Bitwig 5, this was different. And someone in the Bitwig Discord uh, told, it, told, him, told it to me that you have to enable here a feature. I think it was Diva. Um, you have to use here this, this button on the right side, the settings, and it's called pointer tool supports time selection. So you have to enable this. And now it looks like this. We have here at the top a pointer and when you move down, you have now time selection. So you don't need to switch between here the pointer tool and time selection. It's basically done automatically dependent on where you hover over the clip. So you can bring back the old behavior of Bitwig 5 if you really like this and then just time select here easily without switching the pointer tool to the time selection tool. And of course, we can use these uh, automation clips uh, inside of the clip launcher if you want to. So we can move this here, delete it there, and maybe just leave this running in here and have automation playing polyrhythmically and modulating stuff here on your node clip. Um, so very nice, in my opinion. So. Before I told you uh, my problems, I also wanted to give you basically my positive um, insights of what I really like about the automation now in Bitwig 6. Um, and like I said, it's easily fixable. Let me know in the comments down below what you think um, about automation. I think it's great. It just needs small fixes to make me really, really happy. Okay. Um, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. Leave me a comment, leave me a like, leave me a subscription. Um, that's it. Thanks for watching. See you next video. Bye.